So it is the morning of ThriftCon and I'm dressed and ready to go. I can show you guys my outfit once I get there, but I'm meeting up with some of my friends and I'm already late. So I'm going to go ahead and head there. Um, but ThriftCon is going to be an amazing place. Um, I have my garbage bags ready, have everything ready just in case I find some really quality items. I'm really looking for some shoes, some really vintage tees. I'm looking to take advantage of the $5 boxes, but really want to find some unique stuff today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and you guys have a sneak peek of ThriftCon Atlanta 2022. So Tiara's here. Hello, here. what's up? She's rocking it and I'm back in. In the building, baby. So, we time. We're doing casual for today. We're really loving it. just finished at ThriftCon. Um, we found a bunch of items y'all and I actually did pretty well as far as budget goes. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what I ended up finding because I really think that you guys will end up enjoying some of these items. So I'm back in the car. Um, I just want to add this tip in that ThriftCon was amazing and I found such dope items y'all like y'all would not believe so definitely make sure you guys get your tickets for next year I got the chance to really shop with some people from Denver whose stuff was so awesome and amazing so now I'm like do I need to go to a thrift trip in Denver hmm. comment below if you guys think I should do it but otherwise I'll see y'all when I get to the house and show you guys some of the items peace Hey y'all, so we're back at the house and we're getting ready to go through a few pros and cons of ThriftCon. Um, just so you guys can have more of a perspective about the event and if you should go to ThriftCon Atlanta um, 2023. So stay tuned to see um, some of my tidbits. We are going to do a traditional compliment sandwich. We're going to start with our pros, then um, have our cons in the middle, and then we're going to end off with a suggestion. So let's get into it. Our first 
pro is going to be the variety of vendors and i know you guys got the opportunity to see the flyer here um there were a bunch of vendors there that i enjoyed so much but it was just an abundance and there were so many different styles um different things that people were selling and it was a great way to keep up the variety so i truly enjoyed that um, the second pro is going to be the food options. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to eat any food, um, but my friend got the opportunity to eat some of the hot dogs, and she was saying that they were really good. Um, I think food is great to have on hand because you can get hungry when you're shopping, you know? My third pro was that the space was as spacious as it could possibly be. On the left side, they had um, a bunch of clothes and vendors, and then in the middle they had the food, and then they had a right side, which was filled with vendors as well. Um, I didn't find the space to be super overwhelming, but I know it could have been for a lot of people, but I felt like it was as spacious as it was gonna get. My third pro, or actually my fourth, um, is the fact that I got the opportunity to just walk right in. I did purchase the 9 a.m. early bird tickets, which is a must. I definitely suggest um, getting an early bird ticket because I was a little late and I got there at 9, 10. But um, once I parked and everything, I was just able to walk on up, get my hand stamped, and then really just walk right on in. The line was wrapped around the building. My friend was like literally in the back. I could not find her. Um, and then bringing her up to the front, we literally just walked in, no problem. And lastly, I think this event is just awesome for resellers um, to kind of number one, um, build up their clientele and customers. And then number two, just to kind of network with other um, resellers if they got the opportunity. I thought it was really cool to see everybody's setups and different things that they were selling. It was really fun to me. Um, so I think if you're a reseller, definitely go, definitely go to ThriftCon. So now let's get into the cons. So, um, <laughs> Like the first thing is going to be the fact that certain items were overpriced. And I really want to touch on this topic. So as a reseller, um, I know for a fact that there's a lot of different things that goes into pricing your items. That can be from sourcing the items, the mileage that, you know, um, your car took up from actually driving to the place to source that item, shipping, packaging, um, also travel. I traveled at least 33 minutes um, to ThriftCon, but some people were coming from other states and other places. So I think that's something to really take into account. However, um, resellers, please make sure to take off your original sourcing tagging. Um, I won't say who it was because I support her business and it is what it is but I was sold an item that was originally um she was going to sell it to me for $50 and ended up selling it to me for $45 um but the price sticker was on there and it was showing me that she purchased it for $10 now again as a reseller I understand that I'm contributing to this business and there are a lot of things that she factored into that price but someone who may be uneducated when it comes to thrifting may find that to be kind of off-putting or even as if you're trying to take advantage of them or or overcharge them so always make sure that you guys are taking those tags off because really and truthfully we just don't want to see them okay my con number two is going to be lack of feminine clothing I did get to shop with a lot of different vendors that had some very feminine things and I really, really, really enjoyed that. However, I just wanted to see a little bit more girly, girly stuff, um, some more dresses, some more skirts, um, some more heels. I would love to see more of that next year, um, but otherwise I enjoyed what was available. Another con on my end is the abundance of Y2K styles. Um, which is more so styles from the last 10 years or um, early 2000s mainly. Um, and I enjoy Y2K styles, but also in the same breath, there, there wasn't enough vendors that were really showcasing the originality of the early 2000s. Um, and it just started to be a lot of old uh, vintage tees from there, but not like I was looking for um, Sean John, Rockwear, um, Juicy Couture. I saw a few Ed Hardy things and things like that, but it wasn't really the key brands of that Y2K or early 2000s era. And I think people are just grabbing all things that we used to wear that are 
out of style um, and not really classic pieces that people can translate into today. And lastly, the last con is going to be it could be overwhelming for some people to shop in an environment like that. If you're not really used to thrifting all the time um, or on a regular basis or, you know, thrifting in somewhere a big space, it can be very difficult to kind of center in on what it is that you're liking in all the stores. Um, so I heard quite a few people because I was eavesdropping saying that it was a little overwhelming. And lastly, here's my little suggestion. What up, ThriftCon? This is for you. Um, I really think that you guys could benefit from adding a second day um, to your actual convention. Let's go all the way and make it a thrifty convention, you know? Um, I think you can start off with three courses or three classes that um, resellers can take or even, you know, beginner thrifters or people who want to get into reselling. I think it's important for us to um, really showcase, you know, our skills and education inside this course because we are the experts, right? So I would start off with three courses and maybe a networking mixer. So that would give us, number one, the opportunity as resellers to um, connect with one another because we're all trying to get our follower count up. We're all trying to get more customers. We're trying to all, you know, touch into our client base. So it's really great for resellers and more resellers to get that opportunity to connect. So those were all my pros and cons plus a suggestion. Um, we're getting ready to get into the try on aspect of this video. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing a talk through of certain items that I have, but then on top of that, um, I'm going to be showcasing the items and what they look like. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoy it and you guys are able to take away something from this video. Okay, so for the first item today that we're showing for this try on haul, we have this top, which is a Beyonce top. She has her cowgirl hat on looking gorgeous. I'm in love with this top. I got it from, let me see, this guy named Hillard B. I didn't get his Instagram, but I think he's with the BZ store. Um, so I'll go ahead and tag that below. Um, but super dope shirt and one of my first finds. My friend Kenyanja found it first and she was like, nah, it, it belonged to me. Okay, so the second items were some scarves, which I love scarves. If you have followed me since last summer, you know I do a lot of scarf top hauls and hacks. And she's also thrifty, was there with her friend. And I had to do some digging to find her name, but it's verified Sharon down here, or Sharon, um, let me know, girl. Um, but she got this gorgeous blue <laughs> scarf and y'all need to get into this. This pattern, everything about it is super gorgeous and you need it in your life, but I, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> um, shout out to the Denver folk and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. Here I have the infamous dad top. This whole top has like golf clubs on it and it gives like that 90s patchwork, which I really love. Um, it just reminds me overall of my dad and I'm like, yes, this is a dad top. So I got this from the Vintage Vault. Um, she was super cool. I actually believe I got about three items from her and I really enjoy her store. She was one of the first people that I got the ability to stop with. And since we're on um, Vintage Vault, I'll show you um, the other item that I got from her, which is this fire, fire black blazer. And I know you're saying to yourself, Faith, do you really need another black blazer? But yes, yes I do. I also got this super fire like striped hat. I don't know what the words say. So anybody who knows what this word says, let me know if it's offensive, but I love the sketching and I kind of like how the font is. So it's really cute. I need more hats in my life for bad hair days. So we got that. Um, and yeah, I believe I got this from the BZ store. So once again, their tag information will be right here. But I really enjoyed their stuff. It was very edgy, very true to vintage type of wear. But I got a few things, not as many as I would have liked. Ooh, and these shoes. These shoes are a Cinderella story. I really want you guys to know. Like, they're so cool, so eclectic. 
um, giving me 70s, but also I'm loving like the the coutureness of like the shoes and the point at the toe, but it's actually like a square. Um, I just think they're very unique and nobody else could fit them, but I slid it my <laughs> I slid my tiny foot inside of them and it definitely worked. Um, so I love these shoes. Um, the soles are coming up just a teeny bit, but nothing that a little E6 3000 can't fix. Um, these shoes are a killer and a statement piece inside of your closet. It gives that classic glam girl feel, but also thrifty. Oh, so this waist belt, get into this waist slash chain belt. Y'all need this. I have been searching for this for a very long time. I almost bought a basic one at Target just the other day, and I'm so happy and so blessed that I did not end up grabbing that. It's so cute, so edgy, and I got this from also my favorite Denver people. She's also thrifty, and I love 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 this this waist belt or uh waist chain it's up my alley and such a wonderful piece if you don't have one for summer get it and last y'all is some stuff i can't fit i'm really sad about it but i got these like palazzo pants but they're kind of like a jogger um and they have this really cool pattern about them we found them i believe at um the vintage vault um, again, this is like, like my third piece that I got from her and I'm so sad that I can't fit them, but I'll definitely, you know, have them on sale for one of you guys. So if you guys are feeling this, let me know. Um, I believe they are a size small, so most likely a 26 waist. Um, so if you guys are interested, definitely let me know. Whew. So it's been a day. Thank you so much for tuning in to this mini vlog. Um, it was so much fun spending time with um, everyone at ThriftCon. Um, I love the event and I just can't wait for my opportunity to serve as a vendor. I just have so many ideas about my set um, and really just getting the opportunity to meet other people. So thank you so much for tuning in to what I got today at ThriftCon and I hope to see you guys soon. Love y'all and y'all have a good one. Peace.